boxing. The marquee boxer of the era was Joe Louis, the heavyweight. There was eight of them, and the lightest man at flyweight was Renty Monahan. So shoulder to shoulder with the likes of Joe Louis in an era of great champions. And the Knights in the King's Hall, Knights never to be forgotten, and in boxing and in sporting folklore for Ulster and Ireland. They were remarkable and the history there that the King's Hall is famous the world over. The very first world title fight to take place there was Rinty Monaghan against Jackie Patterson of Scotland for the Undisputed World Championship. And the King's Hall, everybody knows about it, the McGuigan era, Dave McCauley, all those great nights. But Rinty Monaghan started the whole thing. He loved the, the public, loved to sing, loved to dance, played the harmonica, had his own show band at the start of the 1950s when he retired from boxing. And in historical terms, that's actually the start of the Irish show band era. So he was involved in so much. He was involved in ENSA during World War II with along Vera Lynn, Tommy Trinder, George Formby, uh, Joyce Grenfell, who went on to star in the Centurion comedy films. So he was a remarkable man. He loved the television. He was in with your Jerry, Jerry Kelly and UTV at the time, uh, and with uh, many others, Jackie Fullerton, of course. And, you know, so he, he loved the limelight, but he always treated life with a smile on his face. This was clearly a labour of love for you. It was a joy to do and a privilege to do. And, and um, the one thing that Rinty has not been is inducted into the World Hall of Fame. Now, for what he achieved, that's where he should be. But a lot of people don't know the whole story. And hopefully it's now here. It will be told and advertised and promoted and whatever else. But if it gets to the right places, Rinty Monaghan will be back up there starring some of these days, hopefully, as the next Irish boxer in the World Hall of Fame. Yeah, we all agree with that. Uh, a legend.